Okay, you just saw the bubbles guys, stay with us. If you don't do one thing right, you can practically destroy your engine and need it replaced or rebuilt. So we'll explain how to fix that now. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Ford Mustang. It could be any year generation Ford Mustang. If you have bubbles, air bubbles in the coolant reservoir, uh, uh, you kind of like the car is even overheating. Stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that. If not fixed on time, you can say bye bye to your engine and you may need the engine replaced or rebuilt. But there could be an easy trick to actually save your engine. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart guys. Anything from transmissions, engines, bodywork, interior, exterior. We show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return for providing these free videos, please subscribe to the channel and like the videos. That way we can uh, keep making them. Now, if you guys uh, need to buy any parts, tools at a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money. So let's start on it now. What can easily guys, okay, cause that first, if you worked on the cooling system, anything that involved replacing thermostat, water pump, radiator hose, radiator, coolant reservoir, anything that involved draining the cooling system, if you just added coolant and started driving your car, that could be the number one mistake. You always need to bleed the cooling system guys on modern vehicles before you start driving them. There is a special procedure that you follow. By following that procedure, you will make sure that you don't have air pockets stuck somewhere in the cylinder heads or the engine block that can prevent coolant to flow freely between the engine and the radiator. And that way the engine, uh, uh, if it has air stuck somewhere and the coolant is not flowing, it can easily overheat, which can, okay, start causing bubbles as well. So always bleed the cooling system. We guys have a video how to bleed cooling system. I think on one of our, of our channels you can check how to bleed the cooling system on Ford. It's going to talk about that. So uh, cooling system will need to be black. Okay, number two. It could be a thermostat that is stuck close, guys. Stuck close thermostat can cause your car to start overheating, coolant can start boiling, and you may start thinking that you have bubbles. If you don't fix it on time, you can overheat your engine, practically destroy it. Number three, bad water pump. You can see the water pump is right there, driven by the serpentine belt. Make sure that the serpentine belt is intact and in good condition. If the belt falls off, the pump will not be running. As a result, your Mustang can overheat, okay, and start getting bubbles as well. Next, guys, okay, make sure you have the correct amount, okay, of coolant in the coolant tank. Not having enough coolant, okay, can cause the car to run hot, start overheating, coolant can be boiling, and you may start getting bubbles as well. Inspect the okay, radiator cap too. That could be the uh, uh, another thing, guys. Those are usually designed to work at certain pressure. There's, for instance, this one is a 21 psi, and when it reaches higher pressure, it's going to let the air out in the atmosphere. Uh, so practically, the cooling system would stay at certain pressure. But if it doesn't, okay, that increased pressure can bust things. It can cause the car to overheat. It can damage uh, cylinder head gaskets as well. Uh, so it could be a bad cap too and lastly okay that we see quite often at the shop when you have boiling coolant or having bubbles in the coolant guys could be a bad cylinder head gasket you will have on the v6 v8 engines you have two cylinder heads on the four cylinder 2.3 you will have one cylinder head but head gasket will start practically pumping hot air in the coolant and you will guys experience those symptoms if you want to know a special video about symptoms of bad head gasket check out we'll have the video on the channel that will talk about that so you will know what to expect and how to distinguish that hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time